the doctor said he's going to call this afternoon. He's going to call. And look, do not let your imagination run wild with you. I mean, everything's going to be okay. You'll see. Hey, Ma, you never told us what the doctor said during the examination. Oh, he just kept saying one thing over and over again. What? Mrs. Morgenstern, please get your hand off my wrist. <laughs> you anything? No, nothing. You didn't ask him anything? Yeah, I asked him one question. I asked him what he thought of my figure. <laughs> well, I mean, after all, only your father has seen, and I wanted to find out if he'd been lying to me all these years. <laughs> want to know what the doctor said? Yeah, I want to know real bad. <laughs> he said I had a dynamite body. <laughs> Of course, a lot of good that's gonna do me now. Oh, Ma, come on. You see what you're doing? Now, I'm telling you, everything's gonna be all right. Yeah. Hey, Ma, old age runs in our family. And look at Grandmother Morgenstern. She's 87. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Wait a minute. That's your father's mother. <laughs> I have Grandmother Nestle. Rest her soul. <laughs> But you know, Grandmother Morgenstern once said something very nice on the subject of old age. Well, what'd she say, Ma? She said, I'm not afraid of death because my life is not such a bargain. <laughs> Come on, Ma. Now, listen, you have a wonderful life. Uh, there are things wrong with it. Like what? Well, like I've never been as close to you two as I would have liked. That's silly. We're close. In fact, we're very close. No, I've never been as close as you two are close. Oh, well, Ma, I mean, that's natural. I mean, after all, you are a mother. Why would that make any difference? <laughs> I mean, I've always wanted to be like a girlfriend to you because you were always the best two girls I ever knew. Oh, that's sweet. That's cute. No, I'm being very serious now. I mean, you girls never take me anywhere with you. You never share things with me and never lend me your sweaters. Oh. <laughs> Ma, you would look pretty silly wearing one of our sweaters. Huh? Why? You afraid I'd stretch it out of shape? <laughs> listen, you. Now listen. No, now you listen. I'm always the outsider here. No, you're not. You're that's, not. That's not true. That is true. I'm telling you it's true. You confide in each other and you never confide in me. I mean, I don't even know one secret about your life. Come on now. Just for once, include me. Tell me a secret about your life. One. Okay, sure thing. Uh, I'd be glad to. Um, I'm sorry, Ma. I don't have any secrets right now. Any Ma? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Please, no. Oh, come on, Brenda. You got a secret? Oh, Ma. Uh, just my luck. I have a secret. I never have any secrets. Why did I have a secret? Brenda, will you tell me? Ma, I can't tell you this kind of a secret. Vince, you know. know. Yeah, but Brenda, wait a second. I mean, Ma's trying to be uh, friends here, uh, palsies and everything. And besides, it's not anything she wouldn't have guessed. And if it will make her feel better... Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Ma... It's about, uh, uh, my secret, what I have is, it's, uh, se sex, is sex. Brenda, all of our secrets are about sex. <laughs> well, uh, you see, there's this guy I've been seeing, and, uh, not too long, and I'm very attracted to him. You know him, it's, uh, Vince. Anyway, uh, lately he's been pressuring me to be more intimate. Well, now I feel like a girlfriend. Of course, this is all a little new to me. Uh, what did Rhoda say when you told her the story? Oh, she said I shouldn't do it. Oh, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have to disagree. You see, the trouble with Rhoda is she doesn't think modern. And then, when you're in my position and you're waiting for the phone to ring with your future, you begin to understand how unimportant some of the old rules are. The important thing is to seize life with both hands. Hold on and take the wildest, 
craziest, longest ride you can. Don't do it the way I did it, Brenda. Enjoy your life. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Boy, is this weird. I mean, you're a fabulous friend. Boy, Ma, if you had told me what you just told Brenda when you I was You would have done Harry... things differently, I suppose. No, but I would have felt so differently about the things I've done. <laughs> Well, hello, doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's, uh, she's right here. Yes. Hey, girlfriends. I'm scared. Hello, doctor? Yes. Yes. Oh. Well, th thank you, doctor. Thank you very much. What? Well, I never heard of that before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yes, and, and thank you. Thank you again, Doctor. It's not my heart. Oh. It's not my heart. Oh. I mean, listen, it wasn't physical. It was emotional. Oh, my. What I tell oh, you, huh? Oh, yes. Oh, that's great. Oh, oh everything's okay. Oh, oh. wonderful. Oh. It is. Oh. It's terrific. But oh. what did he say that worried you? He told you something after he told you the good news. What? Well, in my whole examination, they only found one thing. Yeah. I shrank half an inch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, petite is good. <laughs> this was an awful day, you know, but in a funny way, it kind of brought us together. I mean... I'm glad because I think our relationship is better than it's ever been. Oh. Well, that makes me happy. Oh, mm. it makes me happy too, yeah. Ma. Oh, yeah. Ma, it's wonderful. I mean, nobody has ever had a relationship like that with their mother. <laughs> well, now that everything's okay, I'll go see Vince tonight. Brenda, before you go. <laughs> A big little talk. <laughs> 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 